Hello, I'm Tom Robinson, and in 2015, a community of friends, followers and family members came together via Pledge Music to help me make my first studio album in 19 years with producer Jerry Diver called Only The Now. This year, I want to tell you about a new project that Jerry and I are involved in with one of my oldest friends, Raphael Doyle, who I've known since he was a 15-year-old Irish tearaway in 1968. We met at Finchton Manor, a creative community in Kent, offering a lifeline to troubled youngsters like ourselves. For the next few years, we began to play and sing together and, under the influence of our mutual friend Heriwood Kay, to write songs together as well. Mentored by Finchton old boy Alexis Corner, the three of us formed an acoustic trio and got ourselves a residency at the Troubadour Coffee House in Earl's Court. We called ourselves Café Society. No, not that Café Society. This was 40 years before Woody Allen came up with his film. Ray Davies came to see us there and eventually produced our debut album. Fast forward four decades, and as a BBC Introducing presenter on Six Music, I find myself loving the music of London indie project The Spare Room, which is fronted by none other than Raphael's youngest son, Louis Doyle. My archive of old Finchton demos blew his mind, because Louis knew from the Cafe Society album his dad was good, but he didn't know he was that good. Then this year, out of the blue, Raphael got a diagnosis of terminal illness. Suddenly, Louis's dream of someday making an album with his dad became a matter of urgency. After hearing the material, Jerry Diver immediately agreed to come on board too. The three of them managed to capture 18 lead vocals in just four days flat at Jerry's studio. If the winter has caught you on the low and the sun ain't the same one that you know And your mind is getting worried by the cold And then father and son went off to work up band arrangements for some of the songs at Miloco Studios in South East London with engineer Daniel Moyler. So that's where we are. We now face a race against Raphael's declining health to get the whole album finished, mixed, mastered and released in time for his 64th birthday on January the 6th. The album is called Never Closer and it follows the story of, in Raphael's words, a messy life. It encompasses, he tells us, darkness and recovery, pain and love. And at the end of the album, he concludes really powerfully that the whole journey has definitely been worth it. And you are the fire in my life If you're interested in hearing the finished album, you can help make it a reality simply by buying your copy in advance and spreading the word to other people you think might like it. Thanks for your help. Are the fire in my life?